Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Cam back with another video. And in today's review, we'll be doing an unboxing of Transformers Studio Series number 35, Leader Class Jet Fire from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So here he is in his big packaging. Right here, a nice picture. Jet Fire says number 35. Looks like he's about to bash on his head with his walking stick. It says Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series Jet Fire. Nice Autobot symbol. Side here. Got a very nice image. Looks pretty cool. And it says leader class, classy leader, and classy leader, and class A leader. So, other side, nice up and upscaled image of Jetfire. Looking all nice. Nice Autobot symbol right here. Back of the box. It says 36 steps. Also, look for Megatron, which you can kind of see him peeking through there. Um, vehicle mode, robot mode, and it says in the bio, it says, Jetfire makes the ultimate sacrifice heroically, giving up its parts to restore and strengthen Optimus Prime. Pyramid Desert Battle, so yeah, that's about it for the packaging, so we'll just get them open. Sorry, box assistant isn't here today. He's, um, he's, it's his day off. So, well, he actually gets quite a lot of days off. I told him he does because he needs a break from all of this because he's just he's just not doing great. So, get him out of the packaging. Uh, if I can. Mm -hmm. And this is hard. And it looks like it comes with the extra chest for Optimus, but it'll probably be for the new Dark of the Moon one that's coming out. So here's the instructions. Because of the new Dark of the Moon one, they might that might be what that's for. But who knows? So here's Jet Fire. Get him out of his backdrop. That they have him in cage in. Oh, there's a tie around him that's keeping him from. So there's that. Here's his backdrop from the desert battle. Just put that back in the box. If we can. There we go. And there's that. And so we'll just bring out Jet Fire. So we'll just cut him out. That might be it. Let's see. Yep, that is it. So here's Jet Fire out of the packaging. Get out the extra Optimus chest for I don't know which Optimus, probably for the new one coming out. So, or you could put it on the new one if you want to give it more of a chromey ish type look. Why do I keep dropping it? So, there's that. And lastly, Jet Fire's King. This King of Death. Yes. Oh, jeez. So there's his cane of death. So that there's that. So just put a little ties in back in it. Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, just in case you're wondering how many Studio Series I have, there you go. All on that shelf right over there. That's all my studios, so. I've got quite a lot. So, here's Jetfire. Looks like he's not very stable, so we gotta give him his cane. And we have to kind of lower it. So then we can get it on the ground. And it fell out again. Sorry people, this is gonna take some. Okay, there we go. I can't I can't get him to stand with his cane so So he'll just be standing without his cane. If I can get him to stand. Go rotate that hand. There we go, there's jet fire out of his packaging. And sadly, you cannot get the um, uh, cane to touch the ground. I don't really know why. Oh, hang on, I gotta fix the box there. Bro. I don't really exactly know why, but. So, pretty cool figure. At least out of the packaging so far he is. And you do have his weapon back here which you could just detach. So there's an um, uh, open slot right there. And a uh, tab right there on his wing. I think on either side. Yep, either side. So you can plug it into either side you want. So here's his pickaxe of death which you can... Give him that if you so choose. There we go. Now he's got his pickaxe of murder justice. And I can't I can see kind of on his arms he's got some nice detail there. He's got a pretty nice head scope, nice little whiskers out here. Pretty much black and red, he's got some yellow right there. Thrusters, legs. There we go. Now he stands. He just can't get his cane on the ground, but you can you can pretend. I mean that's the point of these is to pretend. And for some reason he is not standing. There we go. Now he's standing somewhat. But he's got a, a lot of nice details, so I guess we'll just get into comparison. So first up, here he is with Leader Megatron, a little bit taller. Here he is with Prime, his partner, his partner in crime. So he's quite a bit shorter. And here he is with his, or here he is with Bone Crusher. So that's what they look like with Jet. That's what Jet Fire looks like with all these with the others. So he is pretty cool. Um, articulation, the arms, you know, you got the elbow joint that can go out. Head can can't really do much. Legs can go forwards. They have knee and leg joints.
I need to figure out how I can get this to where it's going to actually allow him to stand. There we go. Sort of, sort of, kind of mm, iffy. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. He's now he's somewhat standing. Okay, you know, let's just, let's just forget it. Well, anywho. So he's pretty nice. Um, I don't see, well, I do see the parts that combine with Optimus that forms the chest kind of right in there, those pieces that fold to form the chest. Um, I don't really see any ports of where he and tabs to combine with Optimus, so he, oh well, he's, he's pretty big. Um, I, I think this figure overall is like my, my favorite leader. Class. I mean, other than the fact I can't get him to go down to the ground and actually stand with his cane, but I mean, oh well, he's still pretty cool. I'll just have to figure out how to get him to stand. Let me check the instructions real quick, see if it shows anything. of how to get him to stand with his cane. Nope, it shows nothing. But, oh well. So, pretty nice. Make sure to go pick up yours. I found this at my local Target. So, yeah, that's about it for the video. So, like always, go down, hit that subscribe button, destroy the like button, leave me a comment down below letting me know um, your favorite leader class has been released out of Blackout, Grimlock, Megatron, and Jetfire. Mine's Jetfire by far. My least favorite, I have to say, is Blackout. Number two is Grimlock, and number three is Megatron. Blackout's just, eh, eh, he's iffy. I mean, he's still pretty cool, but he's still iffy. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.